Barry Morphew, the Chaffee County man accused of killing his wife, back in court ahead of his upcoming murder trial, this time in front of a new judge. Suzanne Morphew went missing on Mother's Day weekend of 2020. Her body has not been found. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has a recap outside the Chaffee County Courthouse. This was the first time Judge Ramsey Lama met in person with both sides since Judge Patrick Murphy recused himself. Judge Lama made a few rulings on the discovery violations made by the prosecution. Much of the hearing was over DNA collected on the glove box of Suzanne's Range Rover. The prosecution says it's a partial match to an unknown suspect in a sexual assault case in Tempe, Arizona. On Monday, the defense said investigators knew about about this, but didn't provide this information in a timely manner. The judge ruled the state must provide Morphew's attorneys with one of CBI's revisions of the arrest affidavit because there are witness statements that are relevant to this case. The judge also ordered the state to provide all emails and texts related to this case from CBI agents and Chafee County Sheriff deputies by January 31st to the defense. Morphew has maintained his innocence and is currently out on a half a million dollar bond. This hearing will continue Tuesday at 8 a.m. As of right now, we are not allowed to live tweet due to someone hacking the WebEx and broadcasting it live on YouTube. Still to be decided whether this will be tried in another jurisdiction as well as the length of the scheduled May trial. Reporting in Chafee County, Lauren Scharf for Fox 21 News. I'm the Daughters of Suzanne Morphew speaking in court. She's the Chafee County woman who is missing and investigators believe was killed. Her husband, Barry Morphew, is out on bond awaiting the murder trial in connection to her disappearance. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf was inside the courtroom during Morphew's hearing today and has a recap. The oldest daughter made a tearful statement to the judge, this marking the first time we're hearing from any of the Morphew daughters since Suzanne went missing Mother's Day weekend of 2020. Mallory Morphew said, quote, it has been a hard and confusing time. We are a family and we need each other. It would be a blessing for us to be a family and be together in the town over. Here you can see Barry Morphew and his daughters walking into court on Tuesday. Mallory also said it would be really such a blessing for our dad to be able to be with us because of our work schedule and driving over the pass in the winter. The judge granted the bond modification so that Morphew could visit his daughters in Gunnison during the day, but he must remain living in Chafee County. Morphew cried and said thank you. Also in court, Martin Ritter, the neighbor who initially alerted deputies to Suzanne going missing, testified that he and his wife are afraid of Morphew. They also requested a protection order and have had to put a security system in their house since he's been out of jail and living nearby. We also heard for the first time from the defense that there was an unknown male's DNA on a step in the Morphew house and next to a bed. The judge also also ruled the 11th Judicial District Attorney's Office did violate the court's pretrial publicity order when DA Linda Stanley made multiple comments about this case on YouTube, a podcast, and to the media. However, there wasn't any sanctions made. Morphew's defense doesn't want the trial to be held here, while the prosecution believes it should be held in Chafee County, where the alleged crime was committed. The judge plans to make that ruling next week. Reporting in Chafee County, Lauren Scharf for Fox 21 News. Right now, first on Fox 21 tonight. For the first time, we are seeing colored photos of evidence from the investigation into the disappearance of Suzanne Morphew. She's the Chafee County woman who went missing on Mother's Day of 2020, and her husband, Barry Morphew, faces charges of first degree murder. Fox 21's Lauren Scharf has been following this case since the very beginning. Lauren. Yeah, it's been 630 days since Suzanne was reported missing, and uh, we're just now looking into these new released photos. We saw these photos in the preliminary hearing over the summer, but they were now released to the public. There's a massive amount of evidence in this case, and this sheds a little light into what le led investigators to Barry Morphy's arrest. Dozens of evidence photos released in the Suzanne Morphew case. We've executed more than 135 search warrants across Colorado. 
We've interviewed more than 400 individuals in multiple states. This is the last known photo of Suzanne dated May 9th, 2020. She's sunbathing at their home in Maysville. Text messages between Suzanne and a friend reveal a troubled marriage. A deleted text on Barry Morphew's phone show Suzanne was done with the relationship four days before she disappeared. Investigators found this tranquilizer needle sheath cap inside the Morphew's dryer. Prosecutors believe Suzanne was shot with a tranquilizer before she was killed. On Mother's Day, Suzanne was reported missing. Barry Morphy was at a Broomfield hotel nearly 150 miles away, bringing loads of mysterious items into his room. Also seen on surveillance footage is Morphy making several trash runs that same day at multiple locations. Investigators believe these scratches on Morphy's arm and hands were caused by Suzanne defending herself. Morphy says they were scratches from tree branches searching for his missing wife. Also released were multiple images of weapons that were inside the Morphe's home. A spy pen found in the couple's master bedroom closet helped investigators learn of an extramarital affair, and the Morphe's marriage was far from perfect. You can see more photos of evidence and data collected from Morphe's truck and cell phone on our website right now, fox21news.com. We are still waiting for the body cam video as well as audio from interviews to be released that were shown in the courtroom as well. Morphe will see the judge again on Tuesday where we will, we will f uh, likely find out if the scheduled May trial will be in Chafee County or not. Scott. Good information. Thank you, Lauren.